hello, hello, hello. It's time for another unboxing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. And today we've got a boom. The cat just got scared there. This little fluff ball down here is Misty who's asleep. Um, we've got this gorgeous girl and it's commuter set Barbie doll. And this is one um, that I got for my birthday from a lovely local collector, obviously purchased for me by Colleen. Um, I don't have any Barbies like this yet, so this is a really big deal for me. Now, I didn't know a great deal about this, so I'm basically going to read from the box what it says. So this is a limited edition 1959 doll and fashion reproduction. And she is from 1998. So my understanding is she's a reproduction Barbet, like one of the vintage ones from 1959, wearing fashion of the time. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Wait till you see inside. Oh, yes. So it's a lovely box, very tactile, nice sort of like shape, you know, kind of rectangular, as you do. Lovely artwork, of course, we have to mention that. Oh, yes. Uh, lovely detail on the back there about the barbe and the fashion and the fact that she is from the collector's request collection oh yes developed specifically for collectors worldwide but also maybe people that like to play with their dolls because she's a unboxer oh my days she's gorgeous are you ready are you ready i'm not sure you are boom huzzah how absolutely gorgeous is she look at that hat oh yes so i'm gonna unbox her because oh she's literally dying and falling to get out of the box so what i'll do is i will take her out because she is attached somewhat by elastic which is actually if you have a look another reason she needs to come out the elastic around her neck has actually um worn apart what's the word i'm looking for disintegrated it's disintegrated, so she needs to come out. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'll come back to you in a moment. Oh. Right, so I have unboxed it. That was actually quite easy because um, she basically just was sort of slipped inside this cardboard, so there was only one elastic band on her, so that was pretty easy. That's a box I'm going to save because it doesn't take up much room. Um, I won't flat pack it because I just feel... It's too nice. It's too nice a box, the flat pack, so that will go somewhere. Apologies about the lighting as well. I'm doing this later at night, so I've got a bit of random lighting, but you get the idea. Um, she is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So starting with the floral headpiece, oh yes, uh, it seems to be attached via, is it a headband or is it ribbon? It is kind of like a little headband, which you think has been sewn on. Um, she's got a beautiful face. Look at the makeup. Oh, yes. Those are some amazing lashes and gorgeous eyeshadow. Gorgeous sort of like blue, aquamarine and silvery whitey eyeshadow. All going on, to be honest. All going on on those eyelids. Lovely little pearl detail earrings, which are gorgeous. I love this necklace. Um, and... It does have a kind of clasp on that one, so that's easy to take off. Uh, she's got a silk uh, blouse. This little jacket and skirt are kind of like a soft, sort of stretchy cotton. Um, beautiful original sort of Barbie label there that says Reproduction in the back. You can just maybe not see that, but you get the idea. I love this uh, flower hat there, that's gorgeous. Beautiful skirt, tiny little gloves, which are so sweet. Oh, and she's coming all done at the side of it. I guess you could pull that around to the back. Or maybe you couldn't because it's got darts or whatever they're called at the front. A uh, little bracelet on that hand, which is lovely. Um, and then she does come with shoes as well, um, which I'll show you because the shoes are in with the stand. So she gets a clear stand, which is quite nice. And it says, Bye on it. Um, I'm tearing it open, I've lost a shoe already. And she comes with these tiny little slip-on uh, shoes there. So she's got lovely painted toenails as well. Oh, they are nice, they look good on you. Now I haven't held a barbe like this before. Um, she is very sturdy, uh, very tough, sort of well-made. I'm guessing, but I could be wrong, is it a similar sort of a doll to the silkstone barbies this kind of 
material that she's made from. It's like a really thick, tough plastic. She seems quite a lot taller, but I, I could be wrong. As I say, I don't have anything to compare her to. Well, the head does move as well, side to side, and a little tiny bit of up and down motion. Uh, there's obviously no other articulation in terms of she can't fully bend, um, but I don't, oh, she's not split waisted either, so she doesn't go side to side. She can move her arms up and down, she can move her legs. You know, what more do you need to be able to do to walk to the train station? Just walk, that's all. Oh, yes. So she's gorgeous. I'm really happy with her. She's my first reproduction um, vintage Barbet, but I had to have her because she's just gorgeous and I haven't got anything like her and I foresee her being used and I'm sorry about the blinds and the shadows in this evening's video. I've left it a bit too late, to be honest. Um, yeah, so she comes with uh, this, which is a cute little hat box, I think. That's what it's supposed to be. Oh, how sweet is that? Look at that. That's lovely. So it's a little cardboard boxical of delight, which you maybe can open up if you gently, yeah, there we go. Little hat box. That's lovely that. I like that. Nice little accessory for doing dioramas and such like. Um, and she can obviously carry it as well. If I can, shouldn't have taken it apart, should I? No. There we go. So she can carry that. That's very cute. So she comes with that, her little hat box. Um, and also this. You asked for it, apparently. Um, so like I say, I don't really know anything else about this line of Barbies because I'm not familiar with it. Comes with a little book, which apparently is a recreation of the original 1959 booklet, Barbie Teenage Fashion Model. Teenage. I always thought teenage was one word and they've done it as two. Teenage. Uh, anywho commuter set oh it is gorgeous oh she comes with a different blouse as well so inside this little booklet or with the booklet i should say comes this gorgeous little a blouson oh it's kind of like a onesie oh that's a bit sassy barbie isn't it love the collar on it so um it does actually show it folded down when she wears it in the picture so that needs folding over beautifully made though and then it is like this little all-in-one but with a bit of uh, opening there, I guess, for ease of going to the toilet, maybe. <laughs> but a lovely little gingham uh, blouse, which is nice. So that's what comes with the set. Oh, and this. One second. So it comes with this, which is the certificate, I'm guessing, of authenticity from Barbie. Yep, it is for the commuter set Barbie. But I'm going to leave it inside that little envelope because I can see what it says on it. Um, I don't want to put it on display. I'll just add it to my little box of certificates. A uh, little postcard, which is, is it like a checklist? Oh no, they want to know how many Barbie dolls do you have in your collection? Oh my days. And this was back in 1998. Oh, well, this is very interesting. Yeah, Mattel were basically asking people to fill this in and tell them how many Barbie dolls do you have in your collection? How many dolls other than Barbie do you have in your collection? How long have you been collecting? On average, how much do you spend a year? On average, how much do you spend per year on dolls other than Barbie? On average, how much do you spend per Barbie doll? And how much do you spend per doll or dolls other than Barbie? Wow, and the price brackets for some of these. <laughs> Under $250 all the way up to over $2,000. Is that on one doll? No, no, sorry. On one Barbie doll, they're saying that the top end is $251 plus. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, warranty, which obviously now doesn't apply. But that's a gorgeous set. Anyway, so that was the commuter set Barbie. Sorry if that was a bit boring, but I was super excited to get this girl out because she's gorgeous. And also, lastly, show you, I have acquired a Billie Eilish doll. Uh, she wasn't mine. This was actually Collins and he has gone through some of his things and said, would you like Billy? Um, and I was like, yeah, okay, I will do, thank you. Um, she needs her hair washing because it's majorly gluey, 
but she's really cool isn't she super cool so it's it's like almost rock solid there and the rest of it doesn't seem to have anything in it um but she's got quite a cool face that you quite like if i can show you focus focus <laughs> She's kind of quite pretty. She's articulated, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. She's got fingers, so she can wear rings, which I quite like. Uh, and her legs are also articulated. She comes with some cool trainers. Her outfit's, you know, pretty garish, but kind of cool. You could use the hoodie again. She comes with a backdrop, which I've not taken off Colin yet. And she comes with a stand as well. Um, so I don't think I'll use the stand, but I love her. I think she's well cool. So I think she'll look quite cool redressed as well and with new hair. Uh, well, not new hair, but you know what I mean. New washed hair, not gluey hair. But I kind of like the colour of it. She's cool. Yeah, so that is the Billie Eilish doll. And that is everything for today. I hope it's not been too boring. Sorry about the lighting situation uh, that's going on. And I will see you all soon. Bye.